Hi Rimmers and here we are with the weekly series of pharmacology and uh, we will be discussing the most important drugs in this series. So weekly a drug will keep the pharma fear away from you. So let us start with the first drug and the name is called Amidrone. So when you think of Amidrone the first thing that appears in our mind is, is an anti arrhythmic drug. So I can make you understand the drug with the name itself. What are the important points? Let us start. A. So the A stands for it's an anti arrhythmic drug. And it's a class 3 antiarrhythmic. What is class 3? It's a potassium channel blocker. Then M stands for the drug is having multiple mechanical action. So major action is potassium channel blockade. It has shown to produce the sodium channel blockade, calcium channel blockade, and also beta blocking property. And remember the next letter I, it contains iodine. Since it contains iodine, there is a chance of allergy and rash. The next one is O. What does O stands for? When you use a drug on long term, or on prolonged usage, the drug is known to produce number one, pulmonary fibrosis, number two, thyroid dysfunction, both hypo and hyperthyroidism, and also liver toxicity. But the commonly asked in your exam is pulmonary fibrosis and the thyroid dysfunction. D for duration of action is very long. It has a half-life of around five to eight weeks, very, very long. And it can also cause QT prolongation. The reason is simple because it's a potassium channel block. And it's a drug of choice for ventricular tachycardia. Then the next letter is A, avoid in long QT syndrome or avoid in a patient with interstitial lung disease. And also it increases action potential duration because it blocks potassium channel. Then R for it causes rash. I told you the reason. It is because of the presence of iodine. Then it is also used for resistant arrhythmias because it has multiple mechanical actions. Then O for the eye, it can cause optic neuritis. Then E, very, very important. Remember, amidron is a E for enzyme inhibitor. And when you patient gets exposed to light, E for exposure to light, there is photosensitivity and that can lead to a blue man syndrome. It can also cause one more problem in the eye that is corneal deposits. That is called cornea verticillata, also called as Voltex property. So in the name Amadron, I can remember everything about Amadron. Right? So that's a quick revision for you about Amadron. We keep coming with this type of series for you in the future. It's a weekly basis. And if you like the video, please like it and subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you all. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.